Hello. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I'm just checking in. Well, you know, I missed last Tuesday and I missed Saturday. Saturday I was laying in bed and had, I'd had the uh, second Moderna shot on Friday. So Saturday I was like passed out asleep. Um, it wasn't, the, the reaction wasn't horrible, but I was tired. I was really, really tired. But now I'm feeling pretty good. So I figured, what the heck, I get filming done, check up, do a little check in, figure out what everybody's doing. <sighs> I'm almost finished with another class. So far I'm doing okay. Um, yeah, this one was on linguistics. Where the words came I'm still editing the book, so spring's looking a little more iffy, but I'm going to still keep trying to get spring for the book. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Not a lot. Not a lot going on. Got a new photo inspiration collaboration coming up. That'll be on Thursday because that's when Angie posts. So that'll be a out of schedule. And then hopefully I'll have something else for Saturday so I can actually try and keep a schedule. Oh, I know. I know. I am not a very good at schedule person. I'm just not. It just, I'm just not. I could make all kinds of excuses, even give you a raft of very reasonable reasons doesn't change the fact that there's nothing on the screen when it's supposed to be hmm anyhow that's how that all works if you haven't gotten your vaccine go do it go make an appointment sign up through your health Check out your pharmacy, because a lot of the pharmacies are, start, are starting to get supplies. Getting a vaccine does not make you wuss. It doesn't mean you're, you're giving in to conspiracy theories. It doesn't mean that God is not going to still protect you. I mean, think about it. Some people won't wear a mask because God will protect them. Okay? They don't want the vaccine because God will protect them. Okay? In which case, why do you look for certified foods while you put on clothes? Why do you keep your car repaired? Why do you keep your house repaired? Same diff, guys. Plus, when you get a vaccine, it's not about you. It's actually about protecting other people. You know that herd immunity thing people keep going on about? This is one of the quicker ways with less likelihood of death that you build herd immunity. Think about that. If you've got a bunch of people who are immunized, and the immunizations have been showing that even if you are exposed after you've had your immunizations and gone through all your waiting period and everything, even if you are exposed, you stand a much smaller chance 
of passing it to someone else just because it landed on you. Your immunity is going to keep it from taking hold of you even long enough to pass it to someone else. Unless, you know, somebody sneezes on their hand, shakes your hand, and you immediately sh shake somebody else's hand without wiping your hand. But, yeah, if you're somewhere where somebody's got it and they refuse to put a mask on and you are exposed, that immunity can help protect your grandma, your mom, your kid. Somebody else's grandma, mom, dad, kids, brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles. Just because you believe that you don't need a vaccine doesn't mean that the rest of the world doesn't need you to have it. You want herd immunity? Why do you think they vaccinate the whole herd? They don't vaccinate just a few or just select ones. They vaccinate the whole blessed herd. This is like a hint. That way, if they miss one or two, the one or two are still protected by that herd immunity. Yes, I'm dancing on this soapbox. I really am. I have people in my house who are immunocompromised besides me. My daughter-in-law's mother lives in this house. She had a bad reaction to a completely different kind of medication, but it left her with a paralyzed diaphragm. She cannot breathe without working at it consciously. Do you think she needs a dose of COVID? My daughter-in-law has an autoimmune issue. She can't, she is, her immune system is so messed up. She can't even take the vaccine. Do you think she needs a dose of COVID for me going out and doing stuff that she can't currently and coming home and bringing it to her? Yeah, not doing it. Not doing it. I've got grandkids here that I'm not bringing it home. Not doing it. Don't want to send, give it to my friends. Don't want to give it to the family. Don't want to give it to anybody else I happen to encounter to take care of me so that I take care of them. It's just the way that works. Besides, the quicker we get compliance and the more thorough the compliance, the sooner we come out of lockdown. Surprise, surprise. And we stop having incidents where people decide that they're going to not be bothered to follow the rules and the numbers start going up. We don't need the numbers to go up again. Hmm. Anyway, that's all the news that is the news. Huh. What do you think of this? This is a lovely little thing from thrift store. I like it. Anyway, stay out of trouble. Don't start trouble. If you don't start it and end up in it, I can possibly try an arrangement. Maybe. If you started the trouble, you're on you. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. Do all the things. Be good.